I've mentioned numerous amount of times about one of Sandbox's craziest features that has been floating around in the air for the last couple of months. And as an end result with new commits that we just got today, that was done by Alex, I think it's time we revisited the history so far leading up to the news we've gotten today. Last year, Gary responded to a developer within the Sandbox community who asked a question relating to moving their game's development to Sandbox and also to be able to release their game with Valve's help as a separate standalone game back onto Steam. Gary's response was, Valve seems okay with it, but we've gotten no official responses yet. Fast forward to the 19th of January 2024, and with a blog post of the new scene system being mentioned, Gary officially addressed the possibilities of standalone games as it was mentioned, what I would love to do is let people make games in Sandbox and then export them as standalone games, and then sell them on Steam. He also mentions how he personally doesn't want a cut of any money, royalties, or anything for the service as it would be 100% free. It wouldn't cost Face Punch anything at all, so their decision was to not charge anyone for it. Another thing I forgot to mention is Gary is also trying to convince the rest of the Face Punch development team that focusing on the development of Sandbox's new scene system and overall engine would make it more pleasing as they should honestly use it too, and making it much easier for them to work on games and release them just so that they could make Gary more money to spend also working on the engine even more. Now side tangent, but this makes the Rust 2 development theory ring closer to being true, including the Face Punch engine being a thing I as well. It's very obvious as it was mentioned long ago with Gary's issue with Unity's weird changes and also Russ's existence on the Unity engine, and also finally getting an official license directly from Valve to use the Source 2 engine. They'd create their own engine meant to not only be for other developers to use to create games for Sandbox and Sandbox itself, but also for other future face punch games that would come out just like Rust 2 using Sandbox as a testing ground to create it. Moving forward, with the info we're getting today, Alex has been working on a new standalone game wizard. In short, it's a process that allows you to export the game you've created within Sandbox as a standalone game properly. As you can see on screen, he got it working literally today. So, well, what does this mean? Is it official or anything like that? Well, not really. With some assistance and a TLDR by Nagalian, most likely this could end up being presented by Valve at some point by Face Punch, just to show them, hey, we have it working. And of course, we need to have more input and confirmation of exactly what are the requirements and more for having these games exported and uploaded onto Steam. Quality control has definitely been a hot topic amongst many folks who do look at the service and of course, we already know Steam can sometimes be a cesspool of shovelware and terribly made porn games that just appear on your page. In terms of service, while Gary does want this to be a part of the sandbox game ecosystem and even more, it does also have a chance of being completely denied from Valve's legal team. In some screenshots, I was able to get, thanks to Not Galian, catching the conversation on Discord. Gary mentions more about this and the legal precautions that have to be taken as they don't have any legal rights to let you redistribute the engine yet. But it seems like Valve has been supportive of the idea overall. The entire existence of the standalone game system and service exists right now specifically to ask permission from Valve to now get an official response from them as to see if it's even worth it on their end. Gary also mentions that his gut tells him with the people at Valve who are in charge don't really care where they go in terms of the games, but when it comes to Valve's lawyers and legal team, Team, they definitely do want to do their job and also make sure that they would want to lock this down. But for Gary's experience with Valve, the higher you go up on the seniority tree, the more extreme and radical that they are, which is a very interesting response in itself. So possibly while all of you are watching this video, slowly but surely Face Punch is going to have talks with Valve to see if this system can actually be done or be done with some requirements that won't trigger the Terminator lawyers at Valve to snipe out any ways for folks who exploit the system and service that Face Punch and Gary want to do. With wishful thinking, I would have to say hopefully there would be a chance that this could go through, but most likely I feel it would be extremely strict in some requirements since of course it's using the Source 2 engine, and this technically would be literally the only way for anyone to properly get access to a Source 2 SDK as I'll use that lightly. So anyone outside of Valve can use the Source 2 engine with Sandbox as a middle ground to possibly create indie games and more to release and launch them from Steam. All in all, standalone games to be on Sandbox is an insane feature feature if you kind of take a step back and look at it from a certain angle. But that just means right now we're going to have to wait to see what the response would be and the official response from Gary as he mentions it possibly in the next blog post. And of course, as we'll get more news from both Face Punch, Valve, and also news on Sandbox itself, which I'm eagerly waiting to cover in the future.
But that just means we'll get more news from both Face Punch, Valve, and news on Sandbox itself, which I'm definitely eagerly waiting to cover for the future. Once more again, thank you to Not Gillian, which you can find his info down in the description below. If you want to see more things that have been going on with Sandbox, check out this latest video here, and thanks for watching.